My name is Mickey McManus, and I'm the president and CEO and one of the owners at a place called Maya, which is a sort of technology design research lab here in Pittsburgh. Maya uh, is actually an acronym, and it stands for Most Advanced Yet Acceptable. A lot of the work that we do, we're sort of a, a skunk works, so we're, we're behind the scenes, and we often work with large companies, Fortune 50, Fortune 500 companies. We have human scientists, so those are things like cognitive psychologists, anthropologists, ethnographers, people who study how people think. And then we have um, engineers, and so we have electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, computer scientists, mathematicians, people who study how you make stuff. So this is sort of how people think, and this is sort of the nuts and bolts of like gears and knobs and how you actually get stuff to work in the real world. And then we've got visual designers. So we have people who sort of understand form and function, and people who understand how you make stuff, and people who understand how people think. And our kind of belief is that you can't solve all your problems just with people, you know, studying people and researching. You can't solve all your problems with engineering. You can't solve all your problems with visual design. But what you can do is you can hide complexity. Maybe you can hide some of the complexity in the way you're, you're, you're making it work with the user. You can hide it by having the, the computer remember stuff, so you don't have to. But you can hide it, and so we call that taming complexity. How of it is interdisciplinary collaboration. We think that's really a big deal, because the hard problems in the future are not going to be solved in one discipline. They're going to be solved at some conversation around them. We think that we should become more and more computer literate, you know, and I, and I don't think that's a bad thing. It's fun to learn how computers work. It's great to learn how programming works, because then you learn kind of algorithms and you learn kind of how things work in the processing. But I also think that the focus on teaching people more computer literacy misses the point. I think this notion of, of having computers become more human literate really turns out to be the big deal. Um, because there couldn't be enough geek squads in the world to actually cope with all the complexity. So to give you a sense of why this is so important right now, um, we predict that there will be a trillion processors all connected, all out there in the world in less than five years. So if there are a trillion or trillions of, of computing devices all over the world, and we're supposed to get computer literate for all that stuff, and each of them is gonna send out billions of messages and sometimes they're gonna turn into turn into infection vectors because they're going to get like a worm or they're going to get a virus and sometimes they're just going to turn into a brick because somebody updated it wrong and it just became this thing that doesn't work anymore. Um, we're kind of in trouble. That's like this, this world that we're going to live in and all the kids in the future are going to live in is a world of malignant complexity. I think that um, STEM learning is like table stakes. Science, technology, engineering, math is about teaching the scientific method, which is really important, right? I mean, that's, that's, like a, that's the big deal. How do you figure out how to build things and build things right and stuff like that? Um, and that's important. But I also think there's this other thing um, that we don't talk about too much, which is probably social learning. Like, how do we socialize? How do we actually understand that the way I think is different than the way you think? And emotional learning is this, this notion that that, um, you know, your body makes you feel certain things. You feel down. Um, how do we learn resilience? How do we learn how to step back up again, you know? And so, so learning resilience turns out to be really important. And I think another thing we don't talk about is, is design, right? The idea of creativity and, and this notion of agility. Like, it's okay, you can come up with more ideas, that's easy. And so I think STEM is important, but I think it's, it's missing things. I think if you think of social emotional learning as cell plus STEM, social emotional learning plus STEM, I think if you put human centered design at the middle, where it sort of is an organizing principle for all these things, where it teaches agility and it teaches creativity, then you could have something amazing. So I mean, I think STEM is great. That's table stakes. I think we better also teach social emotional learning and we better teach design. Um, because, it, you know, if you can build anything, what's the right thing to make? If you can build anything and make it right, what is the right thing to make? And that's design. The interesting thing is if you do human-centered design, you learn social and you learn emotional. Because you do iterative stuff, you learn how to fail fast and you learn how to build back up again. So you actually learn how to have a little bit more resilience and grit. And because you're studying other people and you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for someone else, you learn social. You actually learn that you are not like your users and things like that. And that's really important.